We're out here today looking for marbled salamanders. These are amazing little creatures. They have these black and white stripes that make them look pretty exotic. We've been getting some reports that they're moving because it's about that time of year here in the Carolinas. It's late September, early October, you know, kind of that early fall time period. And that's when these guys will start migrating to what's called a vernal pool. A vernal pool is a low spot in the forest where water will collect at certain times of the year and at certain times of the year it's dry. So because there's not water year round, it doesn't really support life like fish, but it's awesome for things like amphibians, you know, frogs and salamanders, who like to come at different times of the year and have these explosive breeding events. Marble salamanders are a type of mole salamander, and they live what's called a fossorial lifestyle underground all year, which is why these areas are so special this time of year, because you can see just numbers and masses of these salamanders when they come out from their holes underground to breed in these low depressions called vernal pools or ephemeral wetlands. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but this particular vernal pool is actually pretty close to a main road. You know, we're probably a quarter mile away from that road, which means this spot is really affected by things like pollution, trash runoff, salting the road. That all affects this vernal pool. But we're actually pretty encouraged because we're finding a lot of marbled salamanders here today. So that means that the health of this particular ecosystem is actually pretty good. Amphibians like these marbled salamanders are often biological indicators of environmental health. Now the reason for that is because they're amphibians, they absorb their moisture and everything through their skin, and so when they absorb that, a lot of these particles that come from pollutants and salts and different things can also get into their permeable skin, and it causes them to die, it causes reproductive issues, it causes all kinds of uh, things that would create a problem for amphibians, and then it would sometimes cause the populations to crash in an environment. Now when that happens, it causes what's called a trophic cascade, which means if you take one thing out of the environment, the dominoes fall, and a lot of other things are affected. So in the case of the marbled salamander, if you were to remove them from the environment, the raccoons, the birds of prey, the owls, the other reptiles and amphibians that rely on them as a food source uh, would also begin to decline and it creates this adverse effect down the line. They'll lay their eggs and they'll wait with them until the rains come and fill up the pool. And at that point, in about two to three days, the eggs will hatch into the little larva form of the salamanders. So it'll be filled up with these baby salamanders swimming all around the pool. I'm really excited to be here finding these guys. I think over the years they've become sort of a symbol of innocence for me because I can remember being a kid and being so excited anytime I would find salamanders. They were always my favorite thing to find. The weight of the world wasn't on my shoulders at that time. I was just out exploring, having a good time, and being excited about something so exotic that I could find out in the wild. I think as adults, we would do very well to remember that perspective because I think it gets lost as we get older. I recently became a father and I am so excited to take my son to places like these so he can have similar experiences to the ones I had growing up. And so he can experience this amazing wild world around us. That's why we care so much about protecting these places and these animals. That's why we care so much about filming them, about showing them to you. We really wanna help break the stigma that surrounds uh, animals like this. You know, if we can't connect people to the outdoors, then it's gonna die before anybody realizes that it needed saving.